Okay, we're back. It's um, we're looking at chapter twelve in the Red Book Tech Math Two. We're looking at twelve point ten and twelve point eleven. Um, so these aren't bad. Twelve ten is just a pretty easy uh, plug and chug. So let's look at one from there only. Uh, look at ninety six. So uh, <clears throat> 96, this says, uh, find T when V is 200. So this is 200 to the 0.4 power. And what else did they give me? And um, B is uh, 2750. Okay, so all you do is divide both sides by 200 to the point 0.4. And so we can click that in in one swoop here. We can do a parenthesis, 2750, and parenthesis, divided by parenthesis, 200 to the power 0.4. And then hit enter. <clears throat> and so we're looking at, um, to the nearest whole number, that's uh, 330. And done. So these other ones are a tiny bit trickier because they did graphs on both a number line and on an XY chart of logs, but logs are kind of funky where it, it changes. It's called the semi-log and the log log graphs. So this is considered semi log. And what happens with each little branch on the semi log is it actually changes, like this is going by twos. So this is one and then it goes two, four, six, eight, ten. But then the next line you see is 20. So it kind of changes, it changes, meaning now it's going by 20s. This was going by 2s in this section, and even though the distance is the same, now it's going by 20s. And then it changes again, because look, that's 100 and that's 1,000, and it got there in just 1, 2, 3, 4 clicks. So it changes again. So if we were to put in, let's put in all the numbers, and then we'll say what points are, all right? So this one was all filled up for us, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, then 20, this would be 40. Even though it's offset differently, this would be 60, and that would be 80, and then that would match with 100. So that you gotta count up the lines and figure out what are they going by, basically. So these were all by twos, then these were by 20s, 20, 40, 60, 80. They did give us the 20, it says A is equal to 20. Um, and then now that's 100, but then the next thing is 1,000. So that's got to be uh, 200, 400, 600, 800. 200, 400, 600, 800, 1,000. And so now let's label it B is 60, and C is 400, and D is 800. So it's weird because the, the, the scale changes with each little different section. It says on the three cycle scale below. So they're, they're changing up the scale. So you gotta really pay attention on that one. All right, uh, same with 116. And that's a semi-log graph. And so they one, two, three, four on the bottom and then they're doing the logs up the side. And so that's weird because it's, it's not evenly spaced out. This is actually a bad drawing of it. Sorry, I'm not great um, at drawing. I did it better here where it's kind of scrunched up, but there are 10 lines. And But notice, this is 100, this isn't 200 and 300, this is 100, then this is 1,000, then this is 10,000. So there's three different scales here. So one, it said uh, write the coordinate of the point. Well, the first part for A is easy. This is A, this is B, this is C. But for A, 1 is clearly, you know, the X part. But the Y part, you got to be careful. So it's going by 10s. And so it stops at 8, it looks like. Oh my gosh, it's glasses. 8, 80. 
because it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, all right? But now B, this is gonna be on a whole different scale. So that's two and a half. But when we follow it over, that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five lines over. And so that's actually five lines over and two and a half, that's 500. Because that's 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. All right. And then the last one. Jeez, they go in between. That's such a pain. So 5.5. Five. And then what's the other one? So 5.5. And, and then now we're in the to the thousands. So if that's 1,000, that's 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, all the way up. And it looks like it's on the fourth line. One, two, three, fourth line. And so that's 4,000. So those are weird because of the scale changes. So just don't want you guys freaking out about that. So that's it for chapter 12. Next videos will be covering chapter 13.